Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Spyro Orange the Cortex Conspiracy, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? Hey Spyro, I'm Crunch. Watch out for those lava pits if you don't want your tail singed. Um, thanks, I guess. Okay, so I did get a comment from one of my fans in the last episode. Telling me that if you want to beat everything in the game, you have to get all the gems. No, you have to beat all the games. Three times each. What the hell's going on here? This is Firefight, by the way, and this requires 30 gems. Reach the portal, move, shoot. Okay. So again, I'll be playing each game once. However, once I reach the fifth level, which is also the final level, and then I'm told I have to beat each game three times, then we'll start going back as far as World 1, and then play all the games again. The reason why I'm waiting until then is because by that point, I will have all of Spyro's abilities, which will allow me to go through more of the levels a bit more reliably. Also, it turns out that if you collect all the gems that are not red, you get a card for them. So I figured why not give that a try too, despite the fact that I've been neglecting to collect certain gems such as the green ones, thinking they were not important. Only it turns out they were important if you want to collect everything. In fact, if you don't have a link cable with fresh purple, you still cannot get everything because you need the cards from that version as well. So you can get everything from one game's point of view, but not every single thing. So forget about that completionist. If you only have one game, you're not gonna get everything. So just learn to suck it up, Buttercup. Why are there just propellers attacking me? Like, what did I do to them, really? I get there's supposed to be a hazard, but come on. Kind of wasting your battery life just to attack me. Oh, there's the portal. Oh, it crashes all the way over there. Cool. So again, I'll be going back to like do all the levels for like a third time after I've reached the entrance to the fifth route. I don't understand the purpose between lighting all these torches. It doesn't look like they really do anything. But at least having this flap ability will give me a little bit more airtime if I need it. There's a portal nearby. Oh, it's on the other side of this wall, alright. Oh man, you managed to get me. Good for you. You wanna, like, a fruitcake or something? <laughs> Fruitcake gets a bad rap, but I actually like it. Ring of Fire. <laughs> Hit them all. Okay, it's another one of those breakout games. The breakout games are the only mini games that I actively enjoy. That's the sad part. I find it glorifying to bash some balls around. I don't know why, but growing up, I used to like breakout games. They just tested your reflexes, for the most part. And it's not like you can just lazily beat Breakout. You literally had to be on your A-game at all times. Especially if you're balancing more than one ball. I did it. <laughs> I noticed that some of these portals look a little out of order. Yeah, I need this. <laughs> Again, I don't understand the point of these torches. Why would I want to light them all? Because when you go through a portal, they're all unlit again. So what is the point? <laughs> I'm not going to unlock anything special by doing so. At least I don't think I will. And if you do, why do you have to make them all unlit again? Just keep them lit all the time. It'd be a lot more convenient. What the hell is this? Portal rush. Reach the portal. Okay. Oh, you can get gems here, I think. No? Gotta go 
go fast, man. Don't worry about those enemies. Uh-oh, I, I screwed up. Better luck next time. You gotta pay 40 gems each time? It's a little cost prohibitive, don't you think? Okay, what are you supposed to do about that? Just keep tapping as fast as you can? I didn't even see a platform there. Let me try it one more time. Whoa, no, no, no! My jump was a bit too late. <coughs> I'll keep trying! I'll eventually get it right. Alright, I gotta do this jump. Do it, do it, yes! You win 80 gems for this! Nice! Okay, this is not one that you have to play more than once. Fair enough. Alright, now I gotta find another gem. Or another portal, rather. a lot of these yellow gems all across the place. That's cool. Ah, I jumped right on that jabroni. I don't like that. Oh, there's the portal. Cool. Let me grab this first. Oh, I got the trading card. Cool. Turn up the heat. Knock him off. Okay. It's that kind of game. Where there's two of them. Okay, I got one knocked off. Yay, I did it! <coughs> Alright, two more of these to find. Charging Rhinoc card, alright. Hm. They're saying there's another portal nearby. <coughs> it's right down here. Put out the fire, huh? That's not how cranks work! <laughs> how much water does this thing need? You don't need that much! Come on now! I did it! <laughs> Spiral, let go of that thing. You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Jerks. <laughs> Again, I find these games very stale, and the fact that you have to do them, like, several times, it just artificially lengthens the game. Apparently, this guy's name is supposed to be Blink, not Blinky. Your flap ability will allow you to explore hidden areas. Happy hunting, Spyro! That does not make me happy. It just makes the game a little bit more stale. How did I miss that guy with the flamethrower? makes no sense. Okay, there's more gems to find here, obviously. Let's do hot wings. I like hot wings. Oh, this is one where Spyro flies himself. Alright. So it's the same as the game when you were on the ship. The only difference is you don't have a ship. Oh, crap. That was actually pretty close. This time you actually fly yourself. I know they use the same music for like each game that's repeated. So I'm not gonna make it any different based on the world you're on. Fine, I guess. Hopefully Crash Purple is a little bit more exciting, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Well, Crash Bandicoot games were hardly mini games at all. So if they wanna make it like a Crash game, it would have to be a lot of platforming with lives to collect, and boxes to destroy. I don't 
don't know if they're gonna do it with this game, but let's hope. Oh well, if, it, if it's not, then it's not. And if it is exactly the same, then I'll just like, I don't know, wait a while before I let's play that game. Otherwise, it feels like I'm putting out the same stuff. You have a little, have to have a little bit of variety. Well, subjectively speaking. Like, I'm not gonna do games that I really don't like just because they're different. I mean, there's gotta be some limit to what I want to do. <laughs> oh, I almost jumped right into you. That would've been disastrous. Except not really. I would've just respawned right by that portal anyway, so... Huh. What difference do it make? Also, how the hell does Sparks, like, not get yellow anymore? I find that very odd. Okay, there's the exit. To Wumpa Jungle. Good to see you, Spyro. Once you've, we've entered this portal, you try to free Coco and the Professor. Crash and I will then lead Nita away while you get our friends to safety. Okay. I'll remember that when I actually find the last portal in this stage. <coughs> you know what's gonna make it even harder? I mean, once I, like, uh, beat each game once, I mean, Sparks is not gonna find them anymore. I have to rely on myself. Oh, this is another one of the special games, the Gem Rush. Collect the gems, okay. Stop for nothing. Unless you miss a gem. Oh, almost missed that one there. Uh oh. Uh oh. I did it! Jeez, you get a lot of gems just for beating this one. This one gave me 80. Is it safe to go down here? No, it isn't. I died. Wait, you lose 10 gems for dying? Wow. That's pretty shameful. <coughs> that was a bit of a BS hit right there. Okay, so I'm missing a portal. And Sparks has not told me where it was. He's slacking off, man. How the hell do I get up here, then? Unless it's somewhere on the way. Did I take a bottom path first and then not go to the top one? <coughs> okay, portal is around here. Is there a way to get up from here? Probably not from here. Let me go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shoot. You know what? This is fine. This is fine. No, no, no. That's not fine. <laughs> that was dumb. Why did that happen? I got an idea. Why don't I actually head back to where I got all those yellow gems? And then try to like keep jumping left. Maybe there was just an extra area where the portal was. Yeah, like right here, actually. <coughs> there, get out of my way. Nobody likes you. Why the hell do you look like such a Hawaiian dude? Think you can guess what's inside the vase? Give it a try. Okay, I'll try it. 75 gems? Here, this one. 56 gems, wow. That was a net loss right there. Oh, I got all the gems again. Pool of lava. Tug the rope, press A fast. 
Oh, it's just a button masher. No, I want you to die. <laughs> um, I have some time. Why don't I just do this one again? If it's just a button masher, then I have little to worry about. It's a little bit more of a struggle this time, actually. Get this one out of the way. Like, as long as I have it beyond the left arrow, I can't lose. There, because it's white, I don't have to do it again. This is fine, if I fall down there. I will just respawn right next to the last portal that I did. So now I can actually go back and finish the stage. Why does that always happen? Like, I could've swore I've been hitting him. And those, uh, sheep are not paying up. Wow. Got hit in midair and I died. You had the worst of both worlds. <laughs> Why are you facing that way? Acknowledge me. Spyro. I'm a dragon. What are you? You're nothing. Spyro, help! Get us out of here! Puppy! Puppy! I'm not a puppy, I'm a dragon! Come on, run after me. Oh god, there's a spikes. Maybe I should not double jump. <laughs> Alright, Crash, you gotta do something! Okay, it looks like you got Coco and the Professor out. Uh, I feel like I should do something here. Oh, you know what? Just setting this up fire will keep this thing from coming down on us. Do I have to get her in some kind of cage? That does not work. Uh, Crash, do you have a plan? Because if I get hit one more time, I die. Oh, I see what I gotta do. I gotta keep raising the spike uh, barrier even higher. And then I just get out. Why won't you play with me, purple puppy? Wah! Crash, lure Nina away while I get the professor and Coco to safety work is ruined. What will we do now? It's up to you two now. You'll have to defeat Ripto and Cortex on their own ground. We may gain a slight advantage with an element of surprise. Spyro, you go after Cortex. Count us in! And Crash, can you handle Ripto? Oh, we made it to Wumpa Jungle. Watch out for lab assistants hiding in the bushes. They throw explosive coconuts. Great. Now I gotta deal with that. So on the next episode, we'll be going through Wumpa Jungle. Goodbye, everyone.